What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So we're still on a binge of upgrading our mortars. I'm going to upgrade my third mortar today and again most of my elixir has been going inside of my laboratory but I don't think I'm going to have enough elixir at the end of the day to upgrade any more of my troops so I might just use it on something else that's around my base. Again I'm not really too worried about any more elixir upgrades right now because I've already upgraded a majority of my troops that I use inside of my army composition. The only thing I have left to upgrade is my wall breakers but not really too worried about those guys I don't have to use them too much inside of my raids but anyways let's just go ahead and attack some bases and uh, see if we can steal a pretty good amount of resources today so first base right here looks like majority of the stuff is on the outside it's gonna drop my troops around the base this one is pretty simple and I've actually been getting a pretty good amount of resources lately I've been finding a good amount of bases around 1100 to 1200 trophies I know with the most recent update or maybe it was the update before that yeah, I think it was two updates ago where they ch something changed in the algorithm. I think it's when they made it so you're more likely to find a town hall. That's the same town hall that you are. Uh, I've been finding a lot of loot down here because usually I would have been up around maybe 14 to 1500 trophies at Town Hall 8 if it if I was raiding on this account a year ago, but nowadays somewhere around 1000 to 1200 trophies has worked really well for me and I found some amazing bases like this. So it looks like this guy has around 800,000 resources, which is awesome. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to steal all the resources inside of his base. So I'm going to try my best. Let me go ahead and drop a couple of my giants to distract. Unfortunately, they went for that air sweeper, but still they should do a de decent job for me. And I'm going to go ahead and start spamming some of my goblins inside of the base. So something that's pretty strong about his mortars is that they take care of my goblins in a single mortar shell, which is pretty efficient, especially when I'm dropping around eight or nine goblins at once. They managed to take them out pretty quickly. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop a couple more goblins into that gold mine right there. And then now I'm going to start attacking from the bottom right. Again, this guy looks like he's a little bit of a troll. He had, his ta he had a Tesla near his town hall. He has two Teslas near these two gold mines right here. So unfortunately, I'm going to fight. I'm have to fight for those just a little bit. And I'm just going to keep making my way around the base to see where I can attack him. I really wish he put his resources on the outside. It would have made it so much better. Uh, but instead, let me just go ahead and drop three lightning spells right here. And I think I made a pretty solid profit on that, uh, seeing as it only cost me 60,000 elixir and I might have stolen somewhere around 100 to 120,000 resources. So still attacking. I've got a couple of giants, wall breakers, uh, archers, and goblins left. Going to attack from the bottom right, seeing as it seems like a pretty good place to attack from. And uh, slowly dropping a couple of my archers because I don't want to waste any more of my goblins just yet. And they're going to shoot over the top and take care of these uh, mines and pumps. All right, so we have 32 goblins and six wall breakers left. Looking at where I could drop my wall breakers, I don't know if I can reach that gold mine right there because that archer tower is sticking so far out. My wall breakers are more likely to go for that compartment. So instead, I'm going to drop two wall breakers to distract. Two wall breakers, looks like one of them got shot down. And then I'm just going to spam the rest of my wall breakers. And then my goblins are going to follow up and uh, steal as much elixir as they can. So it started at 113,000, dropped down to 86,000. So I made about 30,000 30, elixir from that one. And uh, looking at what we have left, can't steal any more resources. So we ended up at around 400 and uh, I guess 70,000 resources for this raid. So not bad. I wasn't able to steal all of the gold. I actually got almost all of the elixir instead of the gold, which is a little, a little bit of a bummer because the gold mines were way better defended than the elixir pumps, but still 470,000 resources, uh, not too bad at all. All right, so next base here, around 600,000. Looking at this guy's base, way more easy to get into. His mortars aren't as uh, upgraded, so I can just drop a couple of goblins. They're not going to be taken out in one shot. Looks like they're making their way in. Uh, my wall breakers keep getting destroyed for some reason, uh, I think by that archer tower, but still, goblins have finally made their way in, and I'm just going to slowly spread them out throughout his base. So most of his collectors, mines, and pumps are within the same compartment, just looped around his base, and I don't think there's going to be anything inside of his storages. So I'm just making a couple of spots for my wall breakers to break through, and then my goblins and giants will follow up, and uh, we should have a pretty easy time stealing all the resources from this base. So only around 230,000 left. Troops are still going in. Goblins are making their way to that gold mine up top, as well as that gold mine on the bottom left should go down in just a second. A couple of archers to shoot over the top because sometimes it's easier to use those guys instead. And then as my goblins tear down this gold mine on the left, uh, really not too much left to look at. And we're sitting at only 7,000 gold left, 40,000 elixir left, and there is 120 dark elixir inside of that dark elixir drill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach it, unfortunately, uh, seeing as I only have a couple of archers left. I could drop my barbarian king, but I don't think 120 dark elixir is worth it. 
only 1,300 uh, elixir left, and I think that should do it for this raid. So we are gonna lose some trophies. Again, I'm not too worried about those, but we stole all of the resources minus the 1,000 elixir, and uh, that was a pretty fantastic raid. So let's go ahead and chalk it up with one more raid right here. So again, almost 700,000 resources available. I've been finding crazy amounts of loot, um, I do speed up my troops on this account so I can do episodes pretty quickly and I found all of these bases within 20 minutes. Again, I speed up my troops because I don't want it to take like two hours to make a single episode or something like that. Um, but I don't gem like my building times or anything else. So yeah, things are going pretty well. Just going to keep dropping troops from the bottom left and the top right to take these gold mines and elixir pumps. As well as it looks like there's a decent amount inside of that dark elixir storage. So I'm going to steal from that as well. I think my dark elixir drill is still upgrading from the last episode and that should finish up in like a day or two. And then that's going to give me a lot more dark elixir because I definitely want to keep upgrading my king because I think he's only two levels away from getting the uh, iron fist ability. All right, so we finished up on the, on the bottom left. Looks like we're going to attack from the top right. There is a good amount of resources inside of the storages in the center, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough troops left to get in there. And it's more important to get these mines and pumps because I think they have more resources anyway. So that's why I'm focusing on those guys right now. And uh, they are level 12, which means there's going to be plenty of resources inside of those guys. So as I clean up these final uh, gold mines on the top right, it looks like we just need to try to get into the center because there still is 200,000 resources in the center, but I don't know if I'm having a shot to get to it. Um, so let's just try out and see what happens right here. I draw my wall breakers and it looks like they're going to go to that archer tower first. I'm going to drop my last two wall breakers and I actually did a pretty good job of getting my wall breakers to the center of the base. It looks like one of them made its way there and one of them sort of straight off to the right, which was weird, but still... Looks like my troops are making their way there, but unfortunately, just not enough firepower. Uh, that last wall breaker sort of messed me up by not going to the center. And plus, I used plenty of, or of, of goblins on the bottom left and top right. So unfortunately, we weren't able to st steal many resources from the center. It was a pretty decent attempt. I honestly should have dropped my Barbarian King in this raid, but still a pretty good amount of resources. And uh, let's go ahead and head back to base. So we have just enough gold to upgrade my mortar. That's going to be my second mortar upgrading at the same time, which could be a little bit sketchy if I'm trying to protect my resources, but I'm obviously not going to have any towards the end of this raid. And with my elixir, I'm actually going to finish up one of my barracks to level nine that we didn't finish off at Town Hall seven. I only upgraded two of my barracks to level nine at Town Hall seven. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that one right there. And uh, there's only one more barracks to upgrade. And uh, yeah, that should clean it up, I think, for the final Town Hall seven upgrades that I missed out. So things are going pretty good so far. Again, I really need to set apart some time and upgrade my walls. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I know a lot of you guys in the comments have been making fun of me. I just have been doing a lot of my defenses instead, but I need to finish those off sometime soon because they're only 200,000 a piece, which is really cheap. And I feel like I can knock those out pretty quickly. So we'll see what happens with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, we'll probably finish off our final mortar and see what we can do with our elixir. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.